The following is a presentation of Bull Star Communications in association with the Global Television Network. These familiar faces best illustrate the Maple Leaf season to date. Early on, number 17's plight typified all that was wrong with the Maple Leafs. Etched on Wendell Clark's face was the look of pain and frustration from yet another injury to his wobbly knee. Clark and the Leafs were down in the dumps, and it showed as they limped through most of November. But then Wendell's opposite number led a resurgence for the blue and white and helped pick up the slack. In the last six games, feisty Mike Foligno has added leadership and savvy. And with linemates Craig Berube and Mike Krusilinski, has the Leafs playing well as we enter a leap year. Be it in home white or road blue, the Leafs' mood has been upbeat, prompting many to cry out, Oh, what a feeling! What a rush! Tonight, we'll see if the turnaround can continue as the Leafs try to escape the basement. Molson Leaf Hockey on the Global Television Network. Brought to you by Molson Canadian. What beer's all about. If you're talking rich history, you're talking about the Montreal Canadiens. Their first of 23 Stanley Cups won back in 1916. They won two straight cups in the early 30s with such names as Morenz, Joliet, and Hainsworth. Some Montreal coaches have been as famous as the players. Dick Irvin, three cups in 15 years. Hector Toe Blake, eight cups in 13 seasons with the Bleu, Blanc et Rouge. And Scotty Bowman, five cups in eight years, including four in a row. And now, former gendarme Pat Burns patrols a different beat in Montreal. No Stanley Cups yet, but maybe this is the year. Tonight, the Habs and the Leafs square off for the second time this season. Live from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. And good evening, everyone. Welcome to Molson Leaf Hockey on the Global Television Network. It's the oldest rivalry in the NHL. But it's not as great a rivalry as it used to be when the teams played 14 times a season. Now it's down to three times a year, but the fans are still out wearing the, the favorite jersey of their favorite team. And uh, in some cases, good friends become mortal enemies when the Leafs and the Habs take each other on. Hi, everyone. I'm Mark Hepscher, and welcome to another edition of Molson Leaf Hockey on Global. Crowd pretty pumped for this one, but the Maple Leafs are, uh, are relaxed, and, and they should be. They've played extremely well their last half dozen games, and tonight in the dressing room, the music of the Doobie Brothers and Steve Miller blaring out of the sound system and uh, why shouldn't the Leafs be pumped up hey a big win Saturday night against the Vancouver Canucks Pat Burns just looked at me and went ah that's nothing they beat Hartford on the road Wednesday night they got a tough test against the Habs tonight let's look at the Norris division standings Leafs one point back of Minnesota uh, the North Stars have three games in hand and uh, the Leafs uh, have a chance to go of course into fourth place sole possession of that and the reason they've improved in the last six games the opposition has only scored 14 goals, so good work by Grant Fuhrer and Jeff Reese. And the fault line playing extremely well, 12 points in their last six and checking the opposition to death. And I mean all over them. Gary Lehman out with a shoulder injury, actually a neck injury. He hurt his neck fighting against Trevor Linden the other night, and he'll start a four-game suspension on Wednesday night. As far as the Canadians are concerned, this is their 33rd game of the year. That's the most in the National Hockey League. They've been doing a lot of traveling, and they'll be happy to, to get home after this road trip. They go to Boston on a Wednesday night. Now the Habs uh, are tied for first place overall in the NHL with the Washington Capitals. And as we look at the top teams in the league, Washington is surprised. Montreal not really. Vancouver, Detroit, and Winnipeg all playing well over their heads or better than we all expected them to. The reason the Habs are playing so well, as always, outstanding defense. Patrick Roy will start in goal tonight. Roly Melanson, a pretty good backup. And these two guys acquired in, in trades in consecutive years, Denny Savar and Kirk Muller, lead the Montreal offense, even though Russ Courtnell and Brian Scrudlin, among others, are out because of various injuries. Benoit Brunet out as well. And star defenseman Eric Desjardins broke his thumb in practice yesterday in a, with a freak injury, which means we'll see more from um, Peter Svoboda, even though he sat out the game the other night against the New York Islands and has been in uh, Coach Pat Burns' doghouse. Now, let's get the thoughts of uh, my cohorts in tonight's telecast, Harry Neal and the impeccably dressed Joseph Bowen. We might see a little of this, some slashing and some icing tonight. The Leafs and the Montreal Canadiens, one of the great sport rivalries of all time, renewed here at Maple Leaf Gardens. Canadians, first overall, have to be doing some things well, and they do a lot of things better than other teams. 
They do, and they make you beat them. Rarely do they give a game away, starting with Patrick Law, who has had the best goals against average in the last six years. His teammates try and make sure he sees the whole shot and only one at a time. Their defense core is not big. They're not aggressive. But when they get the puck, they make the right play for the breakout most often. And finally, in the neutral zone, they, better than any other team in the National League, take away the cross-ice pass. And in doing so, they create turnovers that end up in chances to score for Montreal. Leafs have been doing a few things better. Their 4-1-1 one one record would dictate that, but they have to do a few things against Montreal particularly well. Well, execution and planning have to be right at the top of their list when they play Montreal. So here's what the Leafs are going to try and do to cause Patrick Waugh some trouble by getting a crowd in front of him. Look for some screenshots. Hope for some tippins and rebounds. Their shoot-ins must be well-planned and well-executed, and they ought to be the four-checkers aggressive on this small Montreal defense corps. And finally, don't be tempted into that long 80-foot cross-ice pass in the neutral zone unless you're sure you've got it, because Montreal will burn you on turnovers if you try it too often. So settle in. Should be a great night. It always is. The Leafs and the Canadians. This is Molson Canadian Leaf Hockey on the Global Television Network.